From this angle, things may appear calm, at least calmer now. But as one takes a closer look, this little Italian restaurant roasted last evening. Last night about 10 p.m., we were sitting having our meal, and all of a sudden, we just see a bright light at the window of the office, you know? And after that, it was a, a, a big flame explode we tried to call the, the, the fire brigade station and they came. The blaze will see several staff being out of work just weeks shy of Christmas. However, George explains things could have been far worse. There's a gas cylinder, a big cylinder, was close to the office. You know, if, if the fire did catch it, boy, right now we'd, we would be, <laughs> would be mortal. Fire truck come on time, not lying. And they do their best. Yeah. And I'm thankful for them because it could worse. Uh. The whole person would burn down and the gas tank would blow and we would, the whole would have died. She sprung into action to have a motorist call the fire department. One resident, though saddened by the incident, says he's grateful for life. I was in my bed. I just feel a heat. And when I wake up, I couldn't see nothing at all. When I do, reach to the door. I have to ease in back inside the place. I could have just be able to hold my breath because it was pure smoke. It was chaos, smoke packing away down in my belly. And when I eventually come out, I come out naked, and I see the fireman them outside here, I put our water upon the office building. The cause of the fire remains unclear, but the aftermath continues to burn those who depended on the establishment. Nika Lewis, CVM Live. Bless up, bless up. Good morning, my viewers and all of my subscribers. Welcome back to JNN News Channel. Alright, I know my viewers and my sub. We have a couple of things we want to cover this morning. First, one of them, Abigail Myri got baptized and now a born again Christian. So please do follow that one. Plus, missing St. Andrew girl found and safe. We have again three female missing or rather abducted by men traveling in a pro box that and more in this update well, no further ado let us get into it Bujo daughter Abigail Mary get baptized Abigail Mary Bujo Bantan's daughter is now a child of God the popular model posted several photos of what appear to be a baptism ceremony at an undisclosed church recently she posed her experience with elastic glee on Instagram on Monday. Today was the best day of my life, she wrote. It has truly been an experience, one for the books. I'm happy that I was able to document it all. I've fought, learned, faced public humili humiliation. Humiliation and a lot of things, my viewers and my sub. Cried, got back up, listened, and trusted God all in the name of Christ. The mother whose famous father is a convert to the Rastafarian faith added that she was at home and that it was not an easy road to convert to Christianity. I am home, it was rough. I won't lie, I lost a lot of friends and family along the way. Some that truly came at a surprise, but I had to lose to gain. I couldn't go forward with them. I wouldn't be able to fulfill my purpose and share this testimony with you all. I've been my most vulnerable self stripped of all layers both physical and emotionally in order to
to gain what to gain what has been so much more fulfilling it was all worth it i am better stronger much wiser and able to proudly say that i am truly a child of god and thank you to everyone who fought silently with me abigail in the post several online users praised the young model for her decision to enter the world of christianity Mary's brother jazeel voice is support he wrote fly high sister find yourself now and go with god's blood thicker than water remember that bin laden and bush strived together now are we stronger another user on twitter so proud of you welcome to the family my family while another suggested best decision you could ever make Mary surprised baptism followers in the wake of a major Bahama on social media last month triggered by the emergency of a missing person report on mainstream media alleging that the 20 year old model was missing. Some of you as I'm so we have to say a big move and we're proud. We're proud man, we're proud when we see people make these type of move and these type of decision because we know say it, it's not an easy road my viewers and myself to really go into the world of christianity it's not an easy road it's something where you have to really and truly make up your mind and decide to move on to such journey my viewers and myself so reach out to her give her a strength big her up because right now she need the strength of viewers and myself so continue to give her strength to Mary and we have to say congratulations again to you Miss Mary for doing or uh, making such a big step it wasn't easy but you overcome it and you did what you have to do so bless up and big up to yourself economic recovery gathering peace Clark said Minister of Finance Dr. Nigel Clark says recovery from the ravage of the virus is gathering pace as evidenced by the recent positive economic indicators. Clark cited among other things the 14.2% growth for April to June and the 93,400 increase in the number of persons in jobs in July. He said that the growth outturn for the June 2021 quarter came in a way above anybody would have forecast true or expected. He noted that while it does not recover all the loss output, it subsequently advanced the likelihood of that. Clark said that the best part that about the recovery is that the jobs are returning describing this development as a big deal nothing that jamaican lost approximately 100,000 jobs over the four years following the 2008 to 9 global financial crisis he said it took us 10 years to get back those jobs back we lost over 150,000 jobs in the pandemic over four months in 2020 and in 12 months we have gotten just under 100,000 of those back which is surely a sight that the economic recovery is gathering pace it is here the finance minister noted jamaica is among the leaders in the caribbean region as far as the strength pace and the momentum of our economic recovery concern he added while acknowledge that jamaica had not yet returned to pre-economic performance he maintained that there is reason for cautious optimism as we go forward now we standing the challenges we have had with is hesitancy and other challenges with 
supply the economic recovery in Jamaica is underway and it's underway in an unremarkable fashion, Clark said. He pointed out that the leading international agency S and P global rating upgrade. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that Jamaica is somewhat back on their feet again. Not a hundred percent, but jobs are really coming in back. So you can look out for more jobs, my viewers, I'm a sub on to 2022. But right now, the economic a step up back. So that's a good look, my viewers, I'm a sub for because I don't know what's the whole virus thing and the pandemic thing come in and we got a lot of job losses and them things there so it's a pretty good look for sister yeah we're coming back on our feet so the finance minister mr clark has outlined a lot of things so right now we can look back for some more jobs because you know enough of we not really have no job right now so and likely we have to take up youtube